Hey there guys, how's it going? So I did not originally uh, intend to talk about this. I had a few people ask me what my opinion was and uh, it felt a little bit too, uh, too, too topical, like too kind of inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. I know that uh, uh, more or less a channel needs to, to be topical to kind of stay relevant and get people to watch their stuff. But I try not to do it like too much. You know, I, I want people to be able to uh, to look back on my channel and my old videos, you know, a few years down the line and not just be like, oh, all this is uh, old, boring, outdated stuff. You know, I, I like my stuff to be uh, uh, decently entertaining, like uh, pretty much, I don't know, Probably not forever, but at least for a good few years. But finally I cracked because this was just too funny. Like it was too funny to to not talk about. So I, uh, sometime back I released a video called Nintendo, the Kings of Left Field. And uh, you, I'm probably putting a little card in the corner there for you. And uh, basically just talked about how uh, Nintendo, they they really know how to pull the rug out from under you. You know, they, they, they surprise me again and again and again. I never really know what they're gonna do because they just, I don't know, they have a brain that is very different from most people in most companies, so uh, they're, they're basically just the kings of the, the big su weird surprises. The kind of stuff that makes you just be like, what? What? Why? What? And this, of course, is another one of those things. Another one of those just weird moments where everybody just kind of dot dot, the dot 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 heard around the world. So Nintendo just announced the new 2DS XL. That's right, you, you heard me right, a new 2DS XL. Just to, just a heap, heap a little bit more confusion on top of this whole DS, 2DS, 3DS, XL, not XL, I, whatever nonsense. And just for some extra clarification, this is a 2DS, meaning that it is like the other 2DS, it doesn't have 3D capability whatsoever. However, it is a new 2DS, so it has the, the new guts inside, so it runs better, and also has the, the little second controller stick nub for camera control and stuff. And it's an XL, so it's extra big, which I guess made them ditch the uh, single unit form design and went back to a clamshell so that it could actually fit in anybody in the world's pocket. So the big question, of course, is why on earth did they do it? <laughs> Just there, there, there are so many iterations of that system already. What, what was in the brains? What, what made them decide that this was a necessary thing to do? Well, Reggie went on record as saying that the new 3DS XL was like the Cadillac of handheld gaming. Um, I think the Switch would probably have a little, a little, a little something to say about that. Uh, but anyway, and that the 2DS is like the super duper cheap for kids option. And he said that there's nothing in between because apparently they need every individual option and step in between all the different possible units. <laughs> Now, I'm never gonna say that options are bad. I I'm certainly not like against this thing. I just think it's uh, funny. <laughs> it's just it's just really, really funny that they, they would uh, choose to do this. It's just pretty weird. Okay, I mean, having the second stick of the, the new second nub thing, like, okay, that's okay. That that's pretty cool. That that's a nice feature, though I, I don't think that generally kids are that super into like the, the faster processor or whatever, yeah, you know, just to, just to make games boot up a little bit faster. I mean, it, it is definitely, Definitely better, like like no no question there. It's definitely better, but uh, I don't I don't know how important that is to most kids. So if it's not for kids, like the other 2DS basically was, then it must just be for people who who don't like 3D. But in that case, uh, I think most people just get one of the other iterations of 3DS and just turn off the 3D slider. You, you know, like I don't think there are a whole lot of people that wanted a 3DS super badly and were just like, nope. I am not getting one because it has 3D. Yeah, I could turn off that slider, but that is way too much work, mister. And it's also weird that they went XL on this thing and brought back the clamshell. I, I always kind of thought that the, uh, the the lack of the clamshell was kind of the 2DS's point. It, it was the it was the kid system. So I, I kind of have to assume this is just not for kids. It's just for people who don't like 3D. But then again, like, like really? I, I, I think all those people already have 3DSs by now. Basically, you had the cheap, non-clamshell, non-3D one that you could just throw around that's for kids, and then just the regular models and the XL, large XL model for adults and teens and that kind of stuff. So I don't know where on the scale this thing lies. I, I really just, uh, I'm having a hard time understanding it. Really, at the end of the day, I don't think what Reggie said was uh, was the only the only answer. Like, yeah, it is an answer. Uh, it's it's kind of somewhat true. I mean, like, yeah, like anytime they release a new iteration, you're gonna get people buying it, uh, collectors and whatnot. Some people just plain old like to have 
multiple versions of the same system. Uh, weird to me, but, uh, but, a, but a lot of people do like it. People always show up to buy them. And then yeah, having options is nice, but uh, I think the real reason they did this was, was just to keep the 3DS going, just to kind of renew interest in the system, just to kind of keep things fresh. I mean, the Switch just came out and everybody's super excited about that. And so in the wake of that, I think Nintendo's just uh, kind of sending a message to the public. They're just saying the 3DS is still a thing. We are still looking at it. We are still focusing on it. We are still developing for it. So you should still be interested in it. They announced in no uncertain terms that the Wii U is Gonski, but the 3DS, they, they just wanted to send that message, make it loud and clear that this thing is not dead. This thing is still going. Now, when Nintendo says that they're still supporting the 3DS, we, we don't always exactly know what that means or how long that means. And uh, technically we don't know if they'll want to go back on it in the future just for uh, you know for various business reasons. Uh, not, not that I think they're, they're lying to us or anything. It's just that uh, there was once a time when they said that the Wii U was not being replaced by the Switch. So then how do you explain the launch of the Switch being basically the last day of the Wii U's life. So even if we don't know what it means, even if we don't know exactly how many games and for how long they're, they're gonna be still working on the 3DS, but at the very least, this is a message along those lines. It is still alive. And at this point, I think the Switch is pretty much a surefire hit. I mean, like, uh, like sales could flag at some point and it could, uh, you know, not sell like a trillion units or anything, but I think we're pretty much guaranteed that it'll do well at the very least. But uh, I think this is, um, just one one tiny, tiny bit of insurance. Like the 3DS is kind of like their fallback plan. They're being like, okay, let's wait and see how this Switch thing goes. If it takes off like just crazy, like it, it just it just goes completely bonkers and they sell just a hundred million units, then yeah, the 3DS is probably gonna go away. This is one last little piece of insurance to ride on that uh, if things don't go according to plan, they've got the 3DS to fall back on at least for a few years. Right now, we just have to keep our fingers crossed for what we've all been waiting for a new 2DS non-XL. For those of us who want a 3DS without the 3D, with the new hardware, without a clamshell, at a smaller size. Make it happen, Nintendo. Make, make it happen. That'll be your magnum opus, the most important product you've ever released. I'm waiting.